what's up guys welcome to another journey through 30 it is now february 18th 2022 hi all right so i want to dive into it first of all i want to say happy valentine's day to all the lovers or the beginning relationships relationships that's been there for a while relationships that's flourishing and healthy and nurturing happy lovers day to you guys being that it is february 18th tomorrow is officially pisces season you guys know that i am a pisces my birthday is in actually two weeks two people that are dear to my heart my mom and my baby brother their birthday is actually this week so my family consists of a lot of pisces so happy pisces season to everyone i want to wish you guys a happy birthday and it's time to turn up dive into the juicy part so the last journey through 30 that i told you guys i was going through a heartbreak i was going through depression anxiety and just the ultimate heartache because i really felt that the person that i was with was my person so i want to bring you guys up to speed about how i feel currently so it hasn't been any contact in the last 58 days it hasn't been any contact um that ha he has been reaching out um i've been tempted to respond i've been tempted to like you know go back that's just me trying to you know trying to find a way like to try to make it work but i also had to realize that it didn't work. it's not gonna work we done tried once twice it's not gonna be a third time because eventually sometimes it's like you gotta learn to let go you have to learn to grow you have to learn to be your own person what you see in this person you might not see the same things as before it's just a lot that goes on when you make up to break up and break up to make up so with that being said i wish him all the best I hope he's successful in life. I hope whatever journey life puts him in, that it's a positive one. I send him loving and healing energy because life is rough right now for everybody. Let's just get into it. Sometimes we can't tolerate a certain level of disrespect. Sometimes we can't tolerate the same patterns. Sometimes we can't tolerate not growing. And a lot of people I feel right now, especially in this climate, a lot of people might feel like they stagnant in their relationship. They might feel that a lot of things aren't happening, especially with how the pandemic basically shut down everything and how people have to struggle now. Now you have to find yourself individually and try to maintain. If some of you guys are blessed with a partner who's willing to do the legwork, who's willing to push you and still push themselves. A person that's willing to or is doing the positive things to make your relationship flourish. If you have that partner or if you have that type of person in your life, do not let them go because it's very hard right now. And the way the dating scene is, it's really crazy. Especially if you live in New York, it's a lot going on when it comes to dating. Like, everybody's glorifying this new fad of toxicity and going through stress when they don't even have Let's to. talk about it. Let's talk about toxicity. You have a lot of people, male or females, who get into these relationships and they are not healed. They have a lot of unhealed trauma. So, when those unhealed traumas are not addressed, it shows up in your relationship. It might not show up in your personal relationship but it's going to show up in some type of relationship whether that be friends family whatever it's going to show up because you're not healed from it and like i was telling some of my friends people who are raised out of survival should not be involved with people who are raised out of love because it's always going to be a constant battle it's always going to be a back and forth on trying to help this person fight their demons and then still try to prove to yourself and prove to them that you're down for them so it's a lot going on so if you're not healed and you know that you're going through 
childhood traumas or some type of toxic traumas, you have that in check because you need therapy, you need meditation, you need some sort of healing because it definitely damages your relationship. I'm speaking from personal experience. I'm not a perfect person. My childhood wasn't always cakes and roses, but it definitely wasn't a struggle. But I've been involved with a person who's had like dramatic traumas. And when I say dramatic traumas to the point where they're unsettled in life and whatever they do. So in essence, it translated into our relationship because a lot of things he wasn't used to. A lot of things he had to get acclimated to and a lot of things he wasn't trying to change because he didn't even know he had drama. If you have a person who acknowledges that they have trauma, because that's the first step, then that's a step in the right direction. Because most times you just want to know that someone acknowledges if they're going through something and what are the steps that they're going to do to fix it or to help make them a better person. Now, if you dealing with somebody who knows and vocalizes that they have these traumas, but they swear up and down that they're not, that they're fine, run. Because it's going to get worse. It's not going to get any better because it translates into their behavior. It translates into their mentality. It translates into how they deal with people emotionally, physically, spiritually, all the illies you could think of. It translates into all that. A lot of times we and i mean us as black people we have a hard time expressing about our feelings expressing about trauma and then we hold on to a lot of things i do that because i if i'm going through something i'm like a self isolation type of person if i'm going through something i'm trying to figure it out figure it out and i don't want people to be around me to to get affected by what's going on what I have going on, I will self-isolate myself. So I do harbor things, but I'm learning that it's not cool to harbor stuff. It's not cool to dwell on certain things because it doesn't change and it doesn't fix nothing. The real thing is what you're going to do to fix whatever's going on and how you're going to move forward so it doesn't bother you anymore. With that realization, that actually helps put you in the right step. It puts you in the right direction, puts your right foot forward, and you're able to acknowledge certain things. Once you delve within, you're trying to, you'll basically figure out what you're willing to tolerate, what you're not willing to accept, what you are willing to accept, and how you're going to move. So that's where I'm at right now. So I started my new beginnings and I started doing certain things to make myself feel better and to make sure I stay in the right mental space because being anxious and having depression is not cool. It's very draining and very taxing on the body. Things that make me happy that I recently acclimated to my daily thing is manifestation. Positive words that I say to myself, positive words that I say out loud, positive thinking, positive feeling, positive speaking. When you do that, things come back to you in abundance. Because I realize when you think and talk negative, negative things happen. So to avoid all of that, I try my best. I'm not saying that I've been, I've perfected it. But I try my best to speak things into existence and to say things that are positive. I realize that a lot of things that I have said and done is because I'm holding my own self back. More so out of fear and anxiety. But... Life is not going to happen if you're fearful and if you're anxious. So if you want to travel more or you want to make new friends or you want to end a relationship and start a new relationship or you want to be closely connected to yourself, you want to be closely connected to your positive mental space, your positive spiritual space, your positive emotional space, You, those things are attainable. It's nothing that we can't attain if you really think about it and you really put your best foot forward. It can is, I'm definitely a shy person. If I don't know you or if I see people, I'm not a vocal person. I'm more so quiet unless I know you. If I know you, I'm very vocal and very myself. So I try to surround myself around people that I'm comfortable with, people that I'm acclimated to that know me very well, and people that have my best interests forward. Now, again, I did have a setback because 
that heartbreak really really did take a toll on me so i have to like readjust myself and get back to the essence of what's me. the essence of sickness of course i'm a makeup artist i'm basically trying to get exquisite glam off the ground i'm trying to delve into other artistic things i'm trying to be more selfish with myself being that if i want to travel alone or if i want to do certain things i'm going to do it alone i don't necessarily need somebody to be around me or with me to do the things that i love to do because one thing's for certain two things for sure is that nobody is in charge of your happiness besides you it's unfair of you to put your happiness in somebody else's lap because that determines if they're either good or bad that they're in charge of your mood I'm not giving those keys up anymore, so I'm in charge of my own happiness. The reason why you guys have seen Exquisite Glam just basically posting more than ever before. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I might slip in some Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday, and maybe Saturday. But I'm definitely going to have to take a, take a day for myself, which is Sunday. So that's why you guys are seeing abundance of Exquisite Glam videos all over the place. But I want you guys to also... Be yourself. Love yourself. If you're in a situation where you feel that you're not being appreciated or loved, get out of it because it's not going to get any better. Especially, you shouldn't have to beg somebody to appreciate you or to love you the way that you should. And on that note, I would like to end this Journey Through 30 vlog like this. Happy Black History Month to all my African Americans, which is weird even saying that because you can't be African and American at the same time. But... Happy Black History Month. Happy Savior's Day to all my Muslims. Happy, you know, just black love in general. For those who celebrate Valentine's Day or the day before Valentine's Day, which is February 13th, which is National Black Love Day. So, I see you guys in my next one. Bye.